Okay, so here's another burning question from deep down in my feeble little mind. What would happen if you didn't shower for a year? <laughs> Although not many of us would be willing to test it for ourselves, I'm sure a lot of you too have wondered what would happen if you quit showering for a year. And while there hasn't been much experimentation on this subject, scientists do still know some consequences of this dirty decision. So let's find out what exactly they are. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that little notification bell so you won't miss any of our new videos. Alright, a year without showering, huh? Well, the good news is, is that it won't kill you. So there's that. The bad news is that you definitely won't be a happy camper in the end or along the way. The first thing you'll notice is the stench, and so will everyone else, which will show up in just a couple of days. This is all thanks to bacteria, sweat, and dead skin cells that remain on your body if you don't scrub them away. You can probably imagine how bad the smell is going to be after a year. <laughs> Forget about going anywhere unnoticed. Everyone will be able to smell you a mile away. Plus, after a little over a week, it'll lead to a condition called hyperkeratosis, which is basically the thickening of the outer layer of skin. And it's all downhill from there. After the first month of your shower-free lifestyle, or even earlier, you can expect all kinds of rashes, itching, and irritations to appear on your skin. This is especially true for the groin area, which can also lead to other health problems. Cut to a not-so-distant future, and you'll see fungi and brown bumps start to grow in your body. <laughs> no joke! Without proper exfoliation, your skin will quickly become either super oily or really dry. And it doesn't matter which one is going to be, both imbalances lead to an overgrowth of yeast and bacteria. Yum! According to Dr. Carolyn Jacob, the director of Chicago Cosmetic Surgery and Dermatology, the oiliest parts of your body, such as your armpits, behind your ears, and so on, would slowly collect dirt and pollutants. This dirt and build-up oil would then clump together with dead skin cells to make a really unpleasant combo. Now, if that's not enough motivation to shower regularly, then I don't know what is. So, let's keep this nasty snowball going, shall we? The next major trouble you'll face is that you'd become way more prone to different types of infections. For example, if you accidentally get a cut or scratch and it's left unwashed, it'll basically be an open door for bacteria to enter your body or infect your wound. Since washing your hair and scalp come along with showering, then prepare yourself for some major itching on your head. That's once again due to the accumulation of oil and dead skin. And after a whole year of not showering, well, you'd be scratching your scalp non-stop. Your hair will go through the same stages as your skin. It'll get really oily from the start, then it'll collect an unreal amount of dirt and pollutants, leaving you with a not-so-pleasant smell. And don't forget to add dandruff to the mix. Not a pretty picture we're painting here, is it? Hey, anybody eating right now? Or trying to? <laughs> it's about to get better! Again, if you're not showering, then that means you're not washing your face. So, as you can imagine, you've set yourself up for a severe case of acne. The oily sebum on your face would just keep building up along with bacteria. Your pores would get all clogged up with this nasty gunk. And there you go, you have new pimples popping up left and right. As for a whole year without washing your face in the shower, your face would be covered in zits. And, of course, where there's bacteria and broken skin, there can be infections and health problems. So it's not just all about aesthetics here. The most interesting thing, though, is that one shower won't make everything go back to the way it was. It'll take at least a week for the skin to return to its normal state. Hey, anybody else thinking of hopping in the shower and scrubbing yourself from head to toe immediately after this video? Huh, the line forms over here. I did say that not many of us would try this experiment out in real life, but I didn't say nobody. There's actually a guy named Rob Greenfield who went a whole year without showering. He shared his experiences online <laughs> – good thing we couldn't smell him over the internet. Ron says that it made him reconsider a lot of his life choices, and that he came out a much happier person in the end. 
But you might say he kind of cheated a bit. Yes, he didn't technically shower, but he did swim in rivers and lakes occasionally throughout the year. Sometimes he would even use eco-friendly soap instead of products full of chemicals. It must have worked because this guy looks okay to me. Still, if you don't use water, swim, or shower at all, all that scary stuff we talked about before would definitely become your reality. All right, enough with the hypothetical and extreme situation of not showering at all for a year. Ah, smells a lot better, doesn't it? Let's talk about right now, all of us who practice good personal hygiene and wash ourselves regularly. According to the experts, there are a couple of tips that you should follow in order to shower the right way. The first important thing to be careful of is the temperature you're choosing. Make sure it's not too hot because hot water will suck the moisture from your skin by removing a lot of your natural oils. Lukewarm water is a better way to go. Bad news for all the lovers of long and thoughtful showers. Specialists have estimated that your shower should last 10 minutes tops. Again, it's because long showers can dry out your skin as well. Having two or three showers a day will do the same thing. So eh, that's not a great idea either. Instead of lathering up your entire body, it's better to just stick to the areas with a bunch of sweat glands, such as your armpits, groin, underneath the breasts, and wherever else you tend to sweat a lot. That doesn't mean you shouldn't pay attention to everything else, though. Just focus on these areas a bit more. Over-soaping your arms and legs is no good either, since it strips your skin of its natural oils. The final step you have to take here is using lotion or any moisturizer of your choice. You can also do it beforehand or right in the shower. This will help trap moisture in the skin and protect it from outside factors. If you're a fan of natural products, use coconut oil. It takes care of the skin and makes it baby soft. Just watch out for the monkeys. This step is especially necessary for people with dry skin. Taking time to make sure that your skin is plump and moisturized will only do it good. So. Which one of these consequences of a shower-free year did you find the most surprising or disturbing? I don't know, I think the smell rises to the top of my list. Hey, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Just don't tell them the video stinks. <laughs> let them find out for themselves. Subscribe if you haven't already to be sure you get all our latest updates and videos. And we'll see you right back here on the Bright Side. On the 